Okay, it's about almost 3.30 p.m. It is April 7th. And our garden is getting a daffodil over here that's blooming, so that's nice. And this should be garden tour part two, I guess, at my dad's house. And it's really nice to see that the daffodils blooming. And um, yesterday we got a little tiny bit of snow and rain that covered the ground just barely. But this daffodil still bloomed, so that's good. Here's Oreo. She always comes when I'm looking at the garden. And we got some tulips back here that and they're all starting to get the blooms on them as you can see the little bloom buds on them so they should be blooming soon that's really cool and then these ones too these ones are getting little bloom things that are getting ready to open up soon so but that'll happen in a, a little more than a few days so that's pretty cool and so yeah that's a daffodil that's blooming there's another daffodil right here but it ain't getting blooms yet and there's another tulip there and there and yeah, this tree's definitely getting a little more leaves on it. Popping out now. Not all the way, but they'll be popping out more. And then this thing is getting leaves also. Mark buds or whatever. So that's cool. And um, here's this part of their garden. I have been weeding it, so that's what all this crap on the side is. And there's some more bunny jump ups that are blooming. And some other tulips. And there's some tulips, there's a tulip right here getting a little bud right there. And yeah. And there's even more Johnny Jump Ups right here. So that's cool. And this one's barely getting a little bud right uh, down there somewhere. Yeah. And Oreo keeps following me. And our honey locust trees are getting uh, buds on them also. I don't know if you can see if it's those green things. So that's cool. And more tulips right there. And these perennials are coming back. There's still a lot of weeds in here that I'm trying to pull out. Another tulip right there. And there's some chopped off head dandelions. I don't know who did this, but I think the neighbors were putting more flowers in their garden because they seem to like our flowers. They're like, oh, let's put some cute little flowers in their garden. They don't know better. They're like only three or four. <laughs> She's cute though. Um, there's, yeah, more perennials and more giant jump ups popping out on this side and all that stuff. I'm excited for the tulips to bloom. So yeah, and then, and then over here, or over in the side yard, I'll show you this area. I'll show you this area real quick. There's a tulip popping up under there and some daffodils are right here that haven't gotten any um, thing on any flowers yet. And then there's a daffodil right under here. Looks like the hose got mowed and killed it though, so that's not good. I do. Well, hopefully I'll come back next year. Anyway, so there's these bushes. And over here we have our side yard. And there's some bushes over here. And it's been really nice today. Yesterday was really cold, especially in the mornings. This morning was cold too. These daffodils are getting ready to bloom also, but they haven't opened up completely yet. I don't think. And then, um, there's some tulips back here. Looks like they're getting little um, buds also, so they should be blooming soon. And these bushes, that one's an evergreen spindle and that one's a boxwood bush. Looks like there's a dandelion poofing over here, so that's gonna get its seeds off, so. They'll plant some more dandelions soon, I guess. And then there's some, another dandelion. That's from the same plant, I guess, but like there's like, it's hard to get out because there's these hollyhocks and there's also a tulip right here. It's like all next to each other. I oh, there's another dandelion right there also. And over here we got more dandelions and another tulip right there. And these dandelions are yellow. They should be turning green, like kind of like this. They'll close up. I don't know if you can see, they'll close up and then they'll open up as a poof like that one over there did. And that's when they get their seeds. And then we got a tulip right here. And then we also have another evergreen spindle bush and then uh, another boxwood. And some more hollyhocks. This is from last year, it had beautiful seeds. And then there's hollyhocks growing at the bottom again. And more right here too. And then another tulip right there. And right there. And also right there. So yeah, and then in the backyard, 
There's another dandelion right there. There's Oreo again. In the backyard, the rhubarb is definitely getting bigger. Um, I forgot to tell you, the, on Monday night, before we got the snow Tuesday in the morning, we had these uh, seeds from, they stained the ground. And those cottonwood poplar trees, they literally dropped seeds and all these little worm looking things like snow. Like it was snowing these everywhere. Literally looked like snow, the wind was blowing so many of them down, so that's why they're all over the place right now. They'll either degrade or get mowed up once spring comes. Our spring's already here, but once you mow the lawn, there's like tons of them over there on that side of the yard. Anyways, over here, we have our rhubarb popping up still. And around here in Utah, in Clinton, Utah, the trees have been getting leaves now and flowers. As you can see, this one's barely getting leaves popping out and buds. But most of the trees are getting leaves, like the American elms, I think those are seeds, but the leaves are popping out also. So that's what's cool. And then there's our Douglas fir. So yeah, time's going by fast. I can't believe it's already spring. This was a stalk from the rhubarb last year. The rhubarb stalk from last year. But yeah, that's the rhubarb. We had another one right there, but I think it died. But yeah, there's rhubarb right there. It's doing well. And we also have strawberries in this garden, but I need a weed still. There's strawberries there and there and all throughout here. So yeah. And then we have succulents right here. The hens and chick succulents are doing good. And there's those two and then another dandelion right there. And another one there too. There's tons of dandelions around. But that's what happens in the springtime here. We also have a hollyhock right there starting to come up, but I don't think it's going to do very well. And then there's our Douglas fir. And then um, got these little plants. I don't know if they're yuccas or what they are, but they're cool. And then we have a great plant right there. That's what that is. And then we have we have lilies that pop up over here in the summertime, but they haven't popped up yet. And over here is our um, a bush. It's like the um, the whatever it is the the cat spruce. And then over here we have our um, weeping cherry that was we chopped it down. It looks like it's getting buds again. I have a feeling these are going to be water sprouts. You can see the flowers on there. And then we have another bush right there, and our conditioner, we took the cover off of that. It turned on on Easter, I think, Sunday, one of those days, because it was pretty hot. And then juniper bushes, and that leads back to the front yard. And then um, back behind the fence, I'll show you our, um, our other plants behind here tulips and irises so far a lot more soon when summer comes as you can see the grass is growing more i don't think this is grass i think this is wheat it's wild wheat because it turns to that in the fall and the late summer and it has like it has like um let's see if i can find an example it has these things at the end and i think that's wheat so like little, little wheat grains inside there so here's our tulips there's some more there's some right there we're tilling this area. There's some more tulips. They're getting huge back here. And I threw a banana peel back there not too long ago because whenever I eat a banana, I just throw anywhere in the yard so it's good fertilizer. There's also some more back there. We put these branches here. Oh, there's some behind there too. But we also, we put these branches here. These are from the weeping cherry. That's the one we chopped down over there. And there, that's what these are. They were getting inside the house, so we had to chop the branches off. We're gonna put like a bird nest or something, or not a bird nest, a bird house or something decorative in that tree stump, but we haven't yet. And then looks like we have more tulips coming up over here. I didn't realize we had this many back here. It's weird how they got here too. I don't think we planted them. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Sorry, I'm not, I'm acting weird. I didn't realize this was getting leaves already. This is the box elder maple tree I transplanted from our old house a few years ago, well, almost a few years ago. It's getting leaves now, so that's wonderful. A branch broke off right here, so I'm bummed about that. It hit the wind up to here, so um yeah, this boxwood tree's getting used to us. our box not box with box elder tree. Box elder box elder maple tree. That's what this is. This is a box elder maple tree. I don't know what I called it at first, but it's a box elder maple tree. They're native to Utah. And then we have uh, another banana pill. <laughs> we also have our irises back here somewhere. 
see, I think they're getting covered in all this wheat grass, but that's what these are right here. They're irises, and there's more back here somewhere. Man, maybe they might have died. I don't know where they went. But yeah, these are irises. They should be blooming soon. Hopefully, I don't know. And then, I think that's about it. That's most of the stuff. I mean, we're probably going to plant, like, pumpkins and potatoes back here. We do have potatoes in the house. Um, I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to show you all today because I don't want to make this video too long. But also, I guess I made a drumming video a few days ago and a lot of people seem to like that. I'll try to make more drumming videos and I'll probably set up like its own playlist for all the videos I've drummed and I'll make more drumming videos. So that's about it. Um, nothing much has been going on. Yeah, we got really cold yesterday and now we're warm again today. There's more of these um, cottonwood po uh, poplar seeds that dropped everywhere. It looks really weird. <laughs> They literally dropped everywhere, so many of them. It was like it was raining these or snowing or whatever. But nothing else happened. Nothing much is going on that much. And I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll keep you all updated.